The Complex is a uh, ghost drama movie by Hideo Nakata, who did uh, popular horror films Dark Water and The Ring. Goo? Ringu, not The Ring. And uh, so this one came out in 2013, and I wanted to check it out because it was on Canopy. Uh, this one is about a young woman who moves into an apartment complex with her family, and she discovers a dead body. And uh, the body haunts her, but then we find another ghost that sort of won't let her leave. Um, the movie is creepy for sure. There's a couple of creepy set pieces. Um, not that scary though. Uh, there, there is a couple moments here and there, but the end is really not very subtle and it's very over the top and uh, very grandiose. I don't like it when ghost movies aren't subtle. I like them to be creepier, kind of like the, the changeling, things like that. Not, you know, the ghost is so powerful, he's going to make you snap your own neck just by looking at you. So uh, the complex, you know, it has some good production value, and um, that's about it. A couple creepy moments, but not worth checking out. I give the complex a 4 out of 10. Don't Look Up is a 1996 horror fantasy film directed by Hideo Nakata. It's his second film. His third would be Ringu, which is the one that sort of gave him the claim to fame. But this one came out before that. I wanted to check it out because I was curious. This is about a film crew working uh, on a uh, war film on a sort of haunted set. And uh, basically nothing really happens for a good hour. But then after tragedy befalls the set, they start, everything starts to sort of fall apart. We sort of get some, some interesting horror elements near the end of the story only. But um, a lot of people didn't like this movie because uh, nothing really happens. It's very short. It's only a little over an hour long. And nothing really happens for the first hour of the movie. All the scary stuff happens in the last 20 minutes. Um, I, the concept is interesting, and he would use later elements for Ringu, but yeah, I could, you could definitely tell that he didn't have much of a story. He just wanted to play around with, you know, ghosts haunting a film set. They, they could have spent a little bit more time. Well, I guess it's lower budget, so this was like a, like a literal, almost felt like a movie within a movie. Like he just got all the camera equipment and said, let's film the uh, camera equipment and make a quick ghost story and just put it out there. So um, it's interesting to see like the early sort of uh, steps of the director before he would go on to make other movies like Dark Water and Ringu. But uh, Don't Look Up is a very like simple bear ghost story. Barely scary, very low budget. We're checking out if you're a hardcore horror fan, but I thought it was, you know, very bare bones. So I give it a 4 out of 10.